Hi everyone, this is Becca. Uh, so I just wanted to show you today uh, the new Inspire Praise Bible. Um, and make sure you go to my previous video. I did go over the reg the original Inspire Bible. Um, I showed you the insides and outsides of it. So make sure you go look at that. Um, if you needed to make sure that it was the right video, it was about this Bible. So anyways, um, I'm just going to show you this Bible today. Uh, this one is a newer version of the Inspire Bible. It is an Inspire Praise Bible. Um, I will show you, um, if you would like, you can pause your video right here, read the back description if you can. And then also, um, maybe you can also pause right there. If you would like to read the back description of the Inspire Praise Bible. Now I'm going to show you really, not really quick, but I'm going to show you. Um, this one is a little bit heavier. This one's heavier than the teal version of the Bible. Um, this one has like a shimmery, if you can notice by the light, a shimmery prism type of silver um, embossing on the cover, which is really um, which is really nice. Here is the butterflies on the front. Um, this does um, have a, this does also have a uh, bookmark, um, a ribbon bookmark. This is a sewn binding. The um, edges are beautifully illustrated. Some people do illustrate the uh, edges of the rivals, and this one's already illustrated for you, so you don't have to. This does come with a closure, so it's easier for you to close it for you. Um, when you get into this Bible, um, trust me, you'll want to dig in and just start coloring and start putting different designs and stuff. Your own, making it your own. Um, this Bible, um, the pages are, you'll notice in my video, it's a lot wider. It's, um, it's not more of a cream color like the other, like the original one is. Um, I was actually trying to look to see exactly what color pages these are. And I will have that in my blog, um, as soon as I find the information for you. Um, so make sure you go to my blog and get all the information from there because I'm going to have a compare and contrast on the same blog post about both Bibles. Um, then that way you can determine which one is best for you. These pages are, um, and if you've seen my other video, I was mentioning the, the front pages are always a little bit thicker because they're the inside cover of the pages. Now they're a lot thicker. You can use a lot of other mediums with these. You can use watercolors, paints, gel pens, color pencils, um, pretty much anything that you can think of. Most of the time they will not bleed through. But what I suggest is making sure that you also do a little test patch and just letting it sit, looking on the back of it, see if it bleeds through. Do a little small test patch so that way you know for sure if it's going to bleed through or not and this one i believe i'm going to definitely keep this one i will have more information um as i go along on the instagram and also my blog uh, with these uh, with this bible now um just like the original inspire praise bible or the inspire bible the inspire praise bible in purple um, this one it does have a contents page where it's books of the Bible, alphabetical listing of the Bible books. Um, welcome to Inspire Praise. A note to the readers, introduction to the living, New Living Translation. A New Living Translation by Bible Translation team, although I'm not sure what that is. Um, the Old Testament, New Testament, and the Index of Design Scripture Verses. Um, so... It will have a little bit more information about what the New Living Translation is. And before I go on, I wanted to make sure that I remembered I tell you that this does come in a hard cover. I'm not sure about the soft cover, but if it does come in soft cover, I'm going to uh, research that and put that below in my description. Um, so make sure you look at my description for all the information about um, other things that I do, plus also... Um, the Tyndale website where you can get all of your information about these Bibles. And, and just to let you know, I did receive this from Tyndale Publishing. They let me have a, a big box of books if you looked past in my uh, videos. 
and um, I wanted to show readers and you viewers how what these uh, pages look like in these Bibles. And now this one is very beautifully illustrated. I love this because just the door, you know, there's so many different things that you can put right here about a door and um, when one closes, one opens or something like that. Um, now there's a lot of information um, in this Bible in the very beginning. It will have, you know, exactly how the new, the introduction to the New Living Translation um, exactly what's inside this Bible. Now the Bible translation team, now that I see this, is um, it goes over, you know, like who went over these translations back in um, when the New Living Translation became about. And there is so many um, illustrations. There's a lot more illustrations I've noticed in this Bible than there is in the original um, Inspire Bible. Um, you will want to look at this Bible, and this one is more of a whitish color, maybe a cream white. Um, I'm not sure if it's white white, um, but it is more of a brighter white color. Um, it does have a two-inch margin also. Um, the font on this one is an 8.65. Five. It is single column lettering. I will also have all that information about the very specifics of these in my blog. And um, I wanted to show you something that is very neat and I've never seen this in a Bible before. To tell you the truth, I was so ecstatic when I, I didn't even look at what the Bible was about before I actually opened it up. So if you notice, this page is a little bit see-through. It says, praise the Lord, and this is out of Psalm 150. 150 yes, 150. 150 um, verse 1. And um, what they call tracing paper, I thought was vellum paper, but this is so neat because it's like a vellum um, paper. If you scrapbook a lot, this to me is more vellum than tracing paper, but they call it tracing paper. So, um, you can put your own little designs on here, but you can also see through it and see what's back here. And that is, I, that is just so neat to me. Now, I'm not sure if you don't like this and you want to tear this out. I'm pretty sure you can. And, you know, if you want to stick this somewhere else in your Bible or somewhere, uh, some other location, um, in another Bible, maybe you probably could, um, you would want to make sure that you actually cut it right here in this in the seam. Um, I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna take apart this Bible. This is Bible is so beautiful to me. I'm not going to take it apart. So I just wanted to show you what exactly is inside it. Um, here's the word bless. Um, my frame is very small here. Bless. And it does have um, illustrations around the word. Now, it, just like the original Inspire Bible, it does have contents in the back, and I will show you that in here in a second. Now, this one, it looks like, almost looks like you can't see through this to read the words behind it. Well, that's because this page is also a vellum page. It's already colored for you, and here's your page right here where you can read. Um, so that is one very distinct aspect about this New Living Translation compared to all the other living New Living Translations that I have seen. Um, but if you have seen other ones like this, just let me know. This is um, a vellum uh, tracing paper. Now you can still see the words behind it and um, you can do your own illustration behind here. If it's hard for you to do an illustration when you see the words behind it, um, I would suggest maybe just putting a piece of paper behind it and then illustrating it. And then that way you can still have your illustration here. Um, there are so many pages, so many things that you can do with this page. Um, I'm just noticing, look, there's light bulbs. Um, I, I'm, I love Christmas and I saw this um, right through the page. Those are light bulbs. Um, I so I'm excited about that. Now um, there is a lot of different things that you can do with this Bible. You can do stickers, um, colored pencils, watercolors, 
um, paints, different mediums, but my suggestion is, I don't know if I've already said this or not, um, my suggestion is make sure you are testing a page, using a test page. Now I will look and um, see as we go along, We there should be a test page on here that I can use. Um, here is another colorful illustrated page. This is vellum um, a tracing paper and they did their own little thing and you can do your own little um, illustration here. You can put stickers in here. You can put stamps. Um, now if you stamp like I do, if you do um, watercolors, anything that has um, saturation to it, then um, you'll definitely want to use a test page or a page that you're not sure that you're going to illustrate anyways. Do it on that page first before you do it on a page that you really care about. Um, now, I'm not sure if I said this before or not. This one still has all of the books of the Bible very illustrated at the top. And um, you can actually add your own um, tabs in here. I'm hoping they have my own video about how I'm going to make tabs for one of my other Bibles. This one I probably won't. Um, there is so many things in here that you can illustrate, so many things that you can illustrate, you can color, you can do anything you would like. Um, there is a lot of full page illustrations in this Bible right here. Um, now, when you get towards the back, it will have a few more things that I'm going to show you that I've not seen in a, any other journaling Bible just yet. But first, first off, they do have the index of, here we go, okay, so they do have the index of design scriptures, and that was just like your, the Inspire Bible. Now, I can do a really quick side-by-side um, -side view of this in just a second, but there is the um, illustrated pages that they did in this Bible. Um, and then there's, as you can see, it looks like there's a lot more pages of stuff that they illustrated in here. Um, now, as far as designed word art, there's maybe a little bit less in here, but that's okay because there's so much, so much more to this Bible than you would think. Um, the very end, um, this has another vellum page. And then also this, if you would like this, these pages back here would be good test pages um, because you're, you, you may or may not really be trying to index exactly everything that you're doing in this Bible. Um, so try off on these pages, do little test patches, just little enough that you would know if it's going to work or not. Now, the back of this does have another page where you can illustrate this. You can illustrate this on your own. You can illustrate this on your own. This does cover it. Now, to, to come to the very um, pretty cool part about this, this does have illustration on the back. However, this one has its own pocket. If you're like me, you want to know where your stickers are, your embellishments, everything. It also comes with stickers. So these stickers I'm going to show you really quick and then we'll show you the um, differences between the two as far as the um, as far as the actual um, illustrations in there but these have stickers these are all white you can color them you can stamp them you can do whatever you want with them you can put them in the Bible and then color them and these also have tabs. You can make your own tabs out of these. Um, I have my own tab punch, so I probably may not use these, but you can use these stickers any way you want. Stick them right back in here. Um, you don't have to put them back in this little thing, in this little container there, but it has a lot of, um, this was a really neat idea because a lot of people don't put their own pockets in the back. So that's a very good option for this Bible. Now, I just wanted to show you really quick before I let you go, the difference between the, um, the regular Praise, Inspire Praise Bible and the um, designed art of the um, right of the original Inspire Praise uh, Inspire Bible. There is a difference, if you will notice. There's a difference as far as um, how much is designed. 
there's a difference as far as um, it looks like there's a little bit more over in the Inspire Praise than there is in here. And if you notice, um, if we put them um, almost side by side, there's a difference between the colors of the pages. This one is more of a creamy white or a cream color. This one is more of a white color. Um, so that is a big difference between both of these Bibles. Make sure you watch the other the other video as well going over this Bible. And um, I'm hoping that this will show you exactly what these Bibles are all about. And as I said before, these Bibles that I'm going to be doing is um, from Tyndale Publishing. They gave me about 11 different Bibles or books to review for you. And I'm going to have videos and my blog, and I'm going to blast it all over my social media. So make sure you stay tuned to all of my social media that I have linked down below. Make sure you check out Tyndale because they are a very reputable company. Um, I love getting their products from them. Um, I've bought, I, I believe I've bought a few things from them. And I'm also a book reviewer for them as well. So make sure you're seeing tunes. Um, the New Living Translation is a very nice translation of the Bible. And I hope these videos will help inspire you to, and I said inspire, um, will help inspire you to get um, into the Word of God and just do what you would like to do. Um, make sure you check my blog post down below because I'm going to have more information on my blog about both Bibles. I'm going to have a compare and contrast in my review down below. So just make sure you check that out. And if you have any questions, make sure you message me. I'm also on Instagram and I will answer any questions that you have. So I hope you have a good day and God bless. Bye.